Okay, so what's up guys, going here with Chrome Designs again. Um, in this tour I'll be showing you how to make a GIF image in Photoshop. This is what it will look like. If you go to Window, Animation On, and go to the first one and just click Play. That is roughly what it will look like. You can obviously change it, but that is something want to be like. That's probably lagging a bit to you, but I'm sure when you... um save it as an image it'll be fine and all sleek and smooth okay so you want to go to make a new canvas I've got one here if I go to you no know, turn off the animation because that's what it okay, that's what it'll be like then go to edit and fill if you haven't got a black background already like me then you can double hit the padlock and just call it BG standing for background and then you can make a new layer and you want to make all the text you want to do individually. So if I write, I'm going to write Chrome. So if I write C, then I can maybe drag that down. Go to Blending Options, then go to Gradient Overlay, and then I can going to make the outside a bit of a light grey, and that side a bit of a light grey as well. And then I'm going to add a little pointer in the middle, which is going to be pure white. Then you can go to Outer Glow. Make sure the colors on white with a bit of gray. Then change the size up a little bit so it spreads out. That's quite cool, 18. So I'm going to keep it at that. You can have it wherever you want. And then I'm going to I'm going to write Chrome. So however many characters you need left, I've got one, so I'll need five more. So I'm going to duplicate it five times. One, two, one, two, three. Or five. Okay then. So now you can be hold shift and then drag it along. Then go up and shift and drag it along. What if I actually type this in and you just go type in a H there? Then you go to the that one and you go R and go there and hold shift again so it so you can't go out of proportion. Change that to an O. Then go that again, hold and shift. Oh. Let go shift too early. There we go. And then as that and make that an M. Then last but not least. It's gonna be the E. Okay, so that's gonna be the E. So you go, you got all the text, there's individual layers. Now what you want to go and do is that you want to <clears throat> set them. Now you want to go to a window and animation. Now for all of the others, for H, if you drag that down to zero, that down to zero, and drag all of them down to zero except for the first one, first letter. There you go, and then if you make a new a new um new frame, just click that little icon there. It's the same as the little create a new layer icon, but it's making a new frame. And then for that frame, you can either keep the C selected, in which case you don't drag that down to zero. But for this, I'm going to drag it down to zero, so that'll be gone. But then for the H, I'm going to put that to 100, so it'll be so you see each letter individually at the time. Then we'll just make a new frame. And do exactly the same, put the H down to zero and the R up to a hundred and just keep repeating the process. O and then R new frame M hundred O and zero new frame E and a hundred then M and zero. Okay, so there you go. Um, in the thumbnails, you'll see like each letter individually as well. Now, if you highlight all of them by holding Shift and just going across all of them as if you're highlighting items, if you just click the little zero seconds thing. I'm going to make it to other. Then I'm going to do it for 0 0.03 seconds. So I'll do it nice and quick. So now, if you click play. You'll see it there. And now it's sort of rent. It's sort of a bit choppy because the laptop I'm currently working on is not the best. So, but when you save it, 
it will be all right. So you can click stop. So there you go. You basically made a .gif image. You can upload that to any place that supports it, or you can just keep it. And you can just save it, save as to the desktop animation tut, and then go down to format, and then gif, and then you can just save it, and then you can go to OK and interlaced whatever. Okay, so there you go, and then that's how you save it and make it, and um, more tutorials soon. Subscribe and make sure you rate, and I'll see you guys later. See ya, bye.